Switzerland, Europe's ceiling to summertime fun. From hiking along rushing waterfalls and ravines, to biking across mountaintop ridges, golfing into alpine panoramas and soaring between towering peaks, from diving into pristine lakes to indulging into luscious cuisine, Switzerland offers a world of spectacular summertime adventures. Getting to the Ticino, canton of Switzerland by train from Zurich will be one-third faster when the new Gothard Base Tunnel opens in December of 2016. This 35 and a half mile tunnel is expected to open the southern region of Switzerland to more visitors and business from the north. Eating on board Swiss High Speed Rail is already a tasty experience. From sandwiches and salads to pasta and creamy desserts and reasonable wines, the train offers good taste and terrific views. The Swiss Travel Pass is an all-in-one first-class ticket that gets you all around Switzerland by bus, train, as well as boat. It also gives you access to museums throughout Switzerland. It's a great way to see this amazing country. Arriving in Bellinzona, the capital of the Ticino Canton, is like stepping into the heart of the region. It's here where today the past is present and blends with the future. It's also a great place to get a taste of the Italian influence in the form of gelato or ice cream. Ice cream. So in our quest for the best ice cream in Ticino, we come to Locarno, the literal garage door where some of the best ice cream exists, La Dolce Vita. And La Dolce Vita carries on as one explores the three UNESCO World Heritage Castles in Bellinzona, Castella Grande, Montebello, Sasso Carbaro, are fortifications that attest to the geographic importance of Bellinzona. So we are here in the Valle Bavona, which is part of the Valle Maggia. We are about 30 minutes from Locarno, the Lake Maggiore, the northern tip of Lake Maggiore. And this valley is a special place because when you come here, you time travel. It's a place where there is 12 villages, all made of stone houses, and you're not allowed to do anything here. So whatever changes is done it has to be made like in the good old days and uh, so everything is kept as it was back in the 14 1300. What is a grotto? A grotto is a typical Ticino restaurant where you eat the local food so risotto, polenta, uh, the cold cuts, the local wine too and um, it used to be um, back in the days grotta means cave and grotto is where the people would store their food, cheeses and cold cuts. Where, um, so they, they used to store it there and when the people came, they would serve it to people. And then they started selling and then they started turning into a restaurant. So what's good here at the uh, Grotto America? I love polenta, it's my favorite. But um, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the risotto, Probably they have risotto too. And the cold cuts, cheeses, um, cheese are good. Up oh, cheeses, really, really good. And the, as far as wine? Merlot wine is a specialty of Ticino. Red wine? Red or white Merlot too. White Merlot. White Merlot. Ticino. And in a Boccalino. Boccalino <laughs> means um, filling up its mouth. So because you normally drink from the Boccalino, out of the Boccalino. And you kiss the Boccalino when you drink it. <laughs> I'll just kiss this glass. Mm. I don't like it. You don't like it? I love it. That's oh, great. <laughs> Typical Ticino dishes include local warm cheese with salads, creamy risotto, and polenta with mushrooms and rosemary. The waters cascade from waterfalls and rivers in this, the steepest and rockiest valley in the whole Alpine region. It's the result of glaciers that were here eons ago. Crystal clear water, so pure and clean. It can be drunk straight from the streams 
or from the fountains in the villages. And it tastes, well, it tastes like cool liquid nirvana. It's really good. <laughs> Some recent arrivals in the ancient village shows how exploring and playing in the Val Bavona is not just limited to travelers. Ascona is on the northern shore of Lago di Maggiore. Aside from the sunny Mediterranean atmosphere, in the summer there is the 10-day Jazz Ascona Festival. It takes place at different venues along the waterfront, as well as at restaurants and cafes in the old town. Many performances are free of charge and bring to the region talents from the New Orleans jazz scene as well as the music of Dee Dee Bridgewater and Aurora Neelan and the Royal Roses. Beyond all that jazz, there are elegant shopping boutiques, lively restaurants, an 18-hole golf course, as well as boating excursions on Lake Majore, and lots of waterfront bars and cafes serving up some wonderful ambiance. On the lake of Lugano is the historic Grand Hotel Villa Casignola, built first as a private villa in 1885. Situated lakefront with a beautiful large garden and soaring palm trees, one could imagine that this is the French or Italian Riviera in a bygone era. Rooms and suites with balconies overlooking the lake are mesmerizing. Peaceful and elegant, the accommodations are comfortably furnished with all the latest technology, but still user-friendly. The public rooms are spectacular, like the large drawing room in the 17th century Italian style and with a commanding fireplace. On the terrace, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are served from the hotel's two restaurants. A little piano music in the evening makes the dishes at the hotel's casual restaurant, a rucola, like risotto and parmesan and homemade strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate gelato, fantastico. We are in this wonderful park, and um, we can say that in Ticino we are in a land of contrast because in the winter we have snow and palm trees at the same time. We speak Italian but we are and we feel Swiss and, um, and we have this very nice weather, huh? this mild weather during all year. So this is the sunniest and the warmest place in Switzerland. The Alps protect us from the cold winds from the north and that's why we, we say in German that we live in the Sonnenstube, the sun, the living room of the sun, or the sun living room of Switzerland. Mm. This is the Farina Bona. It's made of corn, but before um, you say bring, bring it up, uh, you toast it. It's like popcorn, and then you may, and we, we make biscuits and cookies. And we have, of course, Ticino flour, eh? local product. We say kilometer zero. The cheeses of Ticino capture the inseparable relationship between the land, the rich pastures, the alpine herbs and flowers that all lend a unique quality to the milk. Many are artisanal, handcrafted cheeses which reflect the generations of knowledge and techniques. For the carnivore, the selection of charcuterie is staggering. From Parma hams to air-cured dried beef or brizola, the salamis and fresh produce combined with local breads make sandwiches that would even impress the Earl of Sandwich. It's one of the largest selections of Swiss chocolate anywhere, from local brands like Alp Rose to well-known international brands like Nestle, Toblerone, Lindt, Villar, Frey, Munz, Tuscher, Springli, Suchard, and Caillet. Buongiorno. Eccolo. La mia Swiss pass. No visit to Ticino is complete without a ride on one of the many boats that cruise the lakes. On the Lake of Lugano is the romantic car-free village Gandria at the foot of Mount Bray. For 
from there, it's a wonderful walk along the Olive Grove Trail, where nature weaves a tapestry of beauty. And after a great walk, nothing could be more refreshing than a plunge into the pristine lake waters of Ticino.